y'all, Bridget Bartlett here with visionmarketinganddesign.com. And today I am inside my mentorship program where I am going to show you how you can create a landing page for free. I know it's shocking. I don't mean a trial in seven days. You're going to have to upgrade. I mean, totally for free. And this is a simple website builder, but why do you need a landing page and what, what is a landing page, right? So I'm going to, rather than tell you, I'm going to go ahead and just jump in and get right to it. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like this video and subscribe. You know how it works. You know the game. So let me get into the computer and get started. Okay, so a lot of people think that a landing page is simply like the home page of your website. However, that is not the case. A landing page needs to be much more simple than the home page. And to give you an example, I just wanted to show you my business website. Now, this website serves two purposes. So I have two audiences here, okay? And that's something that you really need to keep in mind when you're doing digital marketing, always is your audience. So you want to make this home page as simple as possible, but usually, um, I'm the exception to the rule, um, but usually you have one call to action and it's, it's very driven to that call to action, right? So on my website, I cater to, um, people like you who want to be in my mentorship program, but I also offer offer, I can't talk, agency services as well. So what you'll see here is I have, you know, digital marketing solutions for online business. And then I have two calls to action. I have the enroll in my mentorship and then agency services. As you go down here, I have another call to action for a website. Um, on your homepage, this is where you just tell a little bit about yourself and your business. I have the services that I offer. Again, more calls to action. I kind of do this like establishing my credibility by showing here's my YouTube channel. Again, enroll in my ment mentorship page. I have um, testimonials here. I have my blog posts and then I have my calls to action again, right? So that would be a home page, and that is the main domain. So visionmarketinganddesign.com, if you type that in, you're going to come to this page right here. Okay. But when we're doing a landing page, it needs to be really specific. So I chose a niche to um, use as an example, and I chose the weight loss niche or niche. However, I don't know how you say that. Um, so um, the reason I chose this is because I know a lot of people, a lot of online marketers start like with a weight loss supplement or um, whatever, weight loss program, you know, weight loss is a very popular niche. But the problem is, is that Facebook especially is cracking down on what you can and can't share. Like if you're trying to run ads using a before and after picture, that's not going to work. Facebook does not like to compare body styles or like one person to another. So it's, that's just not, it's not going to work. Maybe if you're in network marketing and you have an upline and they're telling you like, Hey, cold message, do all That's not going to work. That's not how you can actually scale a business online. It might get you a few leads, you know, sporadically, but you're not going to be able to scale. You need to be getting multiple, like 30 leads a day. You can't do that. Um, with, you know, trying to promote weight loss supplements, right? You need to match, you need to meet your target audience where they are. Now, keto is huge, okay? Keep this in mind. Um, let's pretend I was, because I used to promote True Vision Health, okay? Now, say I was promoting True Vision and um, this is what I would do. I would never talk about True Vision Health, ever. On all of my social media, I would promote myself as like a weight loss coach or something. I know that that's cliche. A lot of people are using that, but you are what you're branding. Never the company ever. Do not ever promote the company. I see this all the time. You'll see like Avon with Brenda, or you'll see like True Vision Health with Linda or whatever. And 
nobody is ever going to search for that page because they're instantly going to think that you're trying to sell them something, right? But if you have a group like keto for beginners, um, you know, the people that are signing up for that group are people who are interested in losing weight. So if you have a group and you say, um, you know, keto intermittent fasting, this is exactly what I would do. I would create my own Facebook group or I would join a Facebook group um, all about intermittent fasting. Okay. And then I would find people within that group or I would offer this in the banner and or pin it to the top of the page and say, uh, if you're interested in losing weight, um, you know, check out this free ebook or maybe even in the questions of a group, maybe you put this link here and say, are you interested in this new ebook? That is how you're going to get traffic to a weight loss supplement. Okay. If I was placing ads on this, I would say, get your free, um, you know, keto fasting guide. Right. So I would never say, Hey, check out these true vision supplements. I would never say that. Okay. And that is the huge, that is a brick wall that I, I don't understand <laughs> like why people still lead with the product. They still say, Hey, you know, whatever, but this is the way that marketing goes. Nobody wants to be pitched a product on Facebook. Okay. Everyone is so sick of it. I see it all the time. People are complaining like, or they'll say, Oh, post your business ad. And then they spam everybody who posts. It. It's like, it's just so ridiculous. Find your target audience and give them something they want. Okay. If they're in keto groups, they are going to love this. And all you have to do is say, Go to your Facebook page and say, has anyone ever tried an intermittent fasting? You're going to have a ton of people who are going to say yes. And then you strike up a conversation and you say, what was your experience and all that? I found this amazing guide um, that really helped me. Why don't you check it out now? You have not sold them anything, right? You have started a conversation with them where their guard is down because they don't feel like you're trying to pitch something to them, right? You're building that relationship. Now, um, the important goal here is to always get an email, right? So if you click this, a little box will pop up and it'll say, you know, hey, download your free guide. Now they enter their email in here. Now it'll go to this page here where it's download your ebook. Okay. And then there is an ebook guide. Now you guys can um, get this funnel if you are, let me see here. If you are a premium member, this funnel is already made for you. And let me tell you how to get here. Okay. Move this. If you are inside your builder all back office and you click on affiliates, okay, you're going to go down here. Now, every, every free member will have the tab that says sales funnels, but underneath that, if you're a premium member, you'll have a tab that says, um, funnel. Let's see. What does it say? Funnel club. Okay. So when you click on the funnel club, you get a new funnel. Uh, sometimes they throw in a bonus one, but you at least get one new funnel every single week. So that's really cool. They choose different niches. <laughs> Never going to say that word, right? Um, but they add one and it has a new niche. So you can see all these funnels here. Super awesome. But um, for premium members, you can go to that section where it's the funnels club and you go scroll all the way down here until you see intermittent fasting. Okay. Now you can, there are two ways to promote this funnel. All right. Um, I'm going to show you how to actually make this. So if you're on the free plan, don't get discouraged. Okay. I'm going to show you how to make this on the free plan. But if you are a premium member, you can just go ahead and download it. Now, when you download it, this is what's going to happen. You just simply click the download button. It's going to, it's loading it up and it's okay. So now what's going to happen is I'm just going to hit confirm because what it's doing is transferring that funnel to my cheetah builder editor. Okay. So it's going to be, if you look in your back office here, the way to get that is you're going to go all the way up to the top. You're going to go to apps. You're going to go to cheetah website builder. Let me get out of here so I don't have two windows open. 
when you first do it, it'll automatically download it like that. But if you get out of it and you need to go back, it's going to be here in your Cheetah Builder websites and it'll be the unpublished version. Okay. I already did this once today just to kind of like see how, um, how it worked and I wanted to download the ebook, but it's going to be right here. Now, what you can do is edit this. You can put, you know, you can change the images, you can do whatever you want to. Um, but like I said, in the members area, if you are a premium member, um, you will have access to this as well in the funnel club. Okay. So let's go ahead, um, and look at this, PDF that comes with this. Okay. Now this is important. I wanted to show you guys this because this is what they're going to get for free. All right. So, but when you are promoting this funnel, so this is the funnel that you have and you want to promote it. You can easily do like YouTube videos or you can do Facebook lives. And if I was doing this, I would do um, a YouTube video titled types of intermittent fasting. Okay. And then I would go through and just describe each of these. You can even, if you just wanted to do a quick live a day, you could talk about 12 hour fasting. Like what's the difference? 12 hour fasting. Do you have any tips? You know, you could break all of these down any way you want to. And then at the end of each of these, you could say, and if you're interested in my intermittent fasting guide, you can click the link at the box. So you guys get the point here. You know, you can choose what's the best way to start intermittent fasting, do a whole thing about that. Uh, the main benefits of intermittent fasting, this is all content that you can create that drives traffic to your funnel. All right. Does that make sense? I'm, let me see. Let me stop sharing here. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. All right, so here's our PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this then. And we are now in our Cheetah Builder, okay? Now, I like I said, this is already made for you, but I wanna just create it completely from scratch, all right? So I'm just gonna go to new site and I'm gonna name it, we'll just name it IF, IF. And then I'm gonna choose a blank template. Oh, must be says it must be three letters blank template okay and here it is in the unpublished sites you guys this is so so easy um, I've used many many builders and this is definitely the easiest one. So let's let's look at this because I want to make sure while this is loading up, um, we're good, we're just going to make. I'm going to show you exactly how to make this. And you're going to love this. Okay, so it's loading. And one more tip here while that loads, um, there is a Chrome extension called Galleryify. And here's what it looks like. Now, when you have that extension activated, you can go to any web page and then just pull up the extension. And you can see here, it'll let you download all of those images. And with Builderall, they let you use any images that they have available. So there's no copyright issues or anything like that. So that is super cool. So let's see. All right. So this is what it looks like when you start a brand new website, okay? Um, the very first thing, and it even gives you a little clue here, add a panel to start building your website. So we're going to add a panel and we're just going to add a blank panel. However, there are um, different panels that you can bring in here. I like to start with a blank one, especially if I am trying to replicate another website. I just like for it to be blank. So you can see here, um, the very first panel, that image right there, I actually pulled this in earlier, let me get back, back to this page. I already pulled this image into my gallery here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that to edit this panel. Now you can see when you click on it, it automatically um, brings these little, I don't, I don't know what you would call them, the little uh, editing tools or whatever here. So um, you can click on that and then go over here to background because we want to change the background image to be this one here um, that I already downloaded. So let's go to that. Now here is that panel. 
and it should change that. Oh, we need to change the color. Oh, okay, no, we don't. All right. So now you can see we're cooking right now. So see, that looks good. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to get some text. Okay, so we're going to take elements and we're going to add text. Now what I like to do when I first get started with a website is go ahead and do these settings here. Okay, so um, I'm kind of particular about the actually page fonts. Here we go. I'm kind of particular about the font that I use. Usually I use um, Lado or Lado Black. Um, but for this purpose, I won't bore you with changing all that, but if I did want to, I would simply just change it here, right? So I'm going to, to keep these congruent, that's always the keyword. Um, I'm just going to keep it molly black because that's what it defaults to. Now I like to not use anything bigger than like a 50 for my H1 heading, which H1 heading is simply just the largest font on your website. Okay. That's what you're going to use for like your, um, I, I, okay, there we go. It's what you're going to use for your main title here. Okay. So I like to do 50 and then 40 and then, you know, you can play around with all of these things here. Uh, but once you get all this set, it just makes it super, super easy because then all of these are going to be the correct size. Okay. So I'm going to just going to take this, this, um, text here and it's dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight that and I'm going to make it white so that I can see it. And you know, the, um, the editing tools is just like word. So that makes it super easy. So, um, let's see. So here's my text. Now I'm going to go back to this page and I'm simply just going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back here. And then I'm going to do control V and paste. So I have the title here. You can take this box here and just drag it out like that. Let's go back. Um, and then let's see, we're going to just make this line next. So discover the ultimate weight loss solution with intermittent fasting. Um, now I would choose, I'm going to go add text again, and then I'm going to choose elements. And then this time I'm going to choose, um, let's see, we want one a little bit smaller. So I'll go ahead and choose a title four. And then just going to highlight and do control V again. I want to make this white. Okay. And then I'm going to just drag that up there. Do that. Now let's go back to this. Okay. So that we can see that's kind of centered there. We also have an image here. So I'm going to go ahead and just add the, I'm going to add another panel, a blank panel. And then I'm going to add an image because we have that ebook cover. So I'm going to here and add an image. Okay. And to change this image, all you need to do is go up here to the little pencil. You're going to click on that. It's going to bring up your gallery. Sorry, my computer runs slow when I'm doing Zoom. Okay. Let's go up here. Okay, and like I said, I already downloaded that just to save some time. And then now we'll have this ebook. So you guys can see this is really simple. But look, if I'm moving fast, you can always pause this. Um, I definitely think if you're trying to recreate this, uh, just watch it for, through the first time and then go back and even just like put this video on and then pause it and then just try to you know, do it with me and just keep pausing it. You will get it. And once you get the process of how to do it, this is so simple. All right. Now we have some more text here. So I'm going to just go ahead and it looks like that text is the same size as that text. So I'm going to make sure to use that same size. So I'm just going to duplicate, right? To save myself some time. But once I duplicated it, it made this white. So I'm going to highlight control V Oops, and it's a different size. So if you highlight that, 
All you need to do is go to styles here and we chose an H4 up there. So see, you can just easily change that there. We're going to make this, we'll make that black for now. All right, so we have this text, which seems really big, um, but then we have a button here too. So we'll go ahead and just add that button. Go to elements. And just just um, to be clear, if you want a panel, a panel is this right here, this long panel that you're gonna put elements on. But each of these individual things that you're putting on here, those are all elements. So if you need to add a panel, you would go here. If you need to add an element, that would go there. Okay, so let me see. Now I need an element, which is a button. And they chose the round button. So for just congruency's sake, Oops, looks like I copied that one too many times. So I'm just gonna highlight that and then I can trash that out. So I think if you look at this, I think this text might be a little smaller. So I'm just gonna maybe make that um, maybe a heading five, okay? So now we have this here, I'm just gonna Make that a little smaller. So you can see here, what we've done is make this so clear, okay? So simple to read. You know that if you are the person coming to this, you know exactly what you need to do to get this ebook, okay? So let me go back here. Um, and then they have the terms of use. Now, one thing that I suggest you guys do is um, I have in the in your in the Cheetah Builder, they have the ability to where you can actually save personal um, elements and panels that you like. And I have one saved that is called Footer. Let me see here. Um, I have my lawn care business footer. Um, let's see. Where is my footer? Okay, so I don't I don't know what happened to my footer. Okay, so here is my lawn care footer. Okay, um, actually I don't like that. This really irks me now because I I don't know what happened to my footer. But your footer should have um it should have your privacy and your um disclaimer and all of that now i think i hope i didn't delete it okay so let's let's pretend that this lawn care footer or we'll just go ahead and add another panel let's pretend that this is my footer right here and it has all of my um, privacy stuff and all of that okay so we'll just make this really small actually a little bit bigger and then we'll change the color just so we can tell the difference and we'll just make that black just for now and of course I would play around with this but I don't want to bore you guys to death but if you wanted to change that you could also also, just change the numbers there. Except it just made a liar out of me. Okay. All right. So I don't know what's going on here. But um, so now where did my text go? What is going on? Okay, guys. I don't know. I feel like my computer has coronavirus. All right. So I'm going to go delete this, change this. Go copy and paste this again. All right. Control V. I want to highlight that, change it. I think we changed it to a heading five. And it's black. Okay, so you guys get the gist here. Now let me see. So download ebook now. They actually have that on the button. So to edit this button, 
what we want to do is just highlight it and drag it out. Now you can hit the pencil, which that opens up the um, edits for that specific panel. So let's just make this button, we'll make it black. The hover, that's what it, um, this color, the hover color is the color that you want it to be when you're hovering over the button. I like to sometimes make that just transparent because then it makes just the text stand out. And then you can change the hover text, which um, if it was a transparent background, maybe you'd wanna choose like a black or something. But now that we've chose that dark background, we need to change the text. So we need to go to where it says headline, and then we'll change the color of the text to white. And then we want to make that font a little larger. I like to choose about 25 and then 20 on the mobile version. Okay. So I'm actually going to highlight that and do control X to cut it. And then I'm just going to paste it here hit control V. All right. So now we have this here. So here, you know, and of course I could change that button if I really wanted to take the time, but you can see um, on the free plan, you can create this. This is not this is not rocket science. This is pretty easy. And once, like I said, once you get used to it, it's really, really simple. You could also just add another image. That's all that little triangle here. My footer kind of looks like this where it has my privacy in terms of use. Okay. So now you need the next page and this would be the next page here. Um, I won't bore you. It's already 833. So I won't bore you um, with creating this page, but you would do it just like we just did this one. Okay. Now I do want to show you if you save, I want to show you the mobile version. Okay. Because this is what makes Cheetah amazing. Um, even WordPress is really, really hard to you have to customize everything every single thing um, to make it mobile and tablet responsive okay so you can see everything's pretty much lined up here um, you can see where i lost my text it was there but all i need to do is um, just hide this element so now that's gone okay if i wanted to rearrange this oh you can see here so I'll hide this again because I kept losing my text. Apparently that's where it went. If I wanted to move this button down here, I just simply click on it to highlight the element and then I can tell it which direction. So if I wanted to move the text up here, I could do that. If I wanted to move it back down, I could do that. If I, this looks kind of big, um, I would not really want to leave it like that. So I would go to page and then fonts. And then you can adjust this. So this would be the mobile view. And then I want to make that a little smaller. That was an H1. So I'll make the, the smaller than 40. So you can see as I change that in the mobile view, it's changing there. So I like to keep it about three lines for the main title. I just think that it looks better. It reads better. Um, that's, that's just my thing. Okay, so um, let's see. So if you look at the tablet view here, you can see the tablet's gonna look great too. This is really um, something that people had a problem with when they tried Builder all before. They were using the old Builder. This is the new Builder that's just incredible. You can see it, I mean, it's very little tweaking between the desktop, the mobile view, and um, the tablet. So you would just save that. And here's the cool part, okay? This is what makes Cheetah so amazing. So we just created that website. Now look, if I had my, my right panel on here and um, you, know, you put all of this stuff on here, you do your fonts, the last thing you wanna do is have to start all over from scratch, okay? So what you can do is this is what it looks like from the back end, and you can just choose duplicate. Now it's gonna make a copy of this page of this page here. So then when you click on to edit, you can simply start 
from where you were. So if I, what I would do right now, if I was going to um, do this whole thing here, I would go to Galleryify and I already have that banner. I already have the ebook cover. So I already have all of the images that I need. Now I just simply need to create a one page. Um, get back to where I was. I would simply just need to recreate this with the same, this panel would be this image. I would add a white box and then I would add my ebook cover here and then same with the text and then that button. So you can see as quick as I created this one, it would be just as quick to create that one. So let's see. Sometimes it does take a minute when you're copying websites. So you can see if I wanted to add a box, let me just, I'm gonna make sure that when I'm done with this video, you guys are like, oh my gosh, now I can totally do this. So to create that white box, all you need to do is go to boxes and you just need to drag it, okay? So this is just a round white box. And to get these elements on there, um, you just need to do this. But now this is white. So as you can see, when I highlight, all this text is white so it doesn't show up. So you can just make this black like we did before. And I would even um, do the colors and stuff. I would make all of this like really congruent. Okay, let me see. I would even use like a color picker, which you can use online. Where's my other text? Okay. Let's make this oh, this banner here bigger. Oh, there was my text. That's what happened to it before. I lost it. It got hidden. So I'm going to do that. Got my ebook here. I don't need this panel anymore, so I'm just going to highlight and delete that. And if you can see in this one here, it goes pretty much all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this bottom panel here. We'll pretend that's my amazing footer that I didn't get to show you guys. There's that text, that white text I was trying to change. It is so funny. The funniest things happen when I'm live trying to do stuff. It seems like nothing works out. <laughs> Okay, oh, uh, let's see, let's drag this. Oh, my computer is so slow, y'all. All right, drag. Oh my goodness, what is going on? All right, I'm just gonna save this. And then I'm just gonna refresh and we'll see how that works out. I said I wasn't gonna do this for you and I decided, uh, oh, you know, I have a few minutes. I'll go ahead and just, I just wanna show you how easy it is because I know that um, when you're new to this, it's like building websites, that seems so overwhelming, but it's so easy. And if you guys learn this skill, it's really, it's limitless what you can do. The, the potential is limitless. And to be quite honest, this whole um, coronavirus thing that we're all dealing with right now, it just makes me incredibly grateful to that I have a job that I don't have to leave the house. So it's just another thing that just makes me so excited to do this for a living and be able to work from home. Okay, so here, you can just see how quickly I recreated that. It does save you so much time being able to copy that page, okay? So um, what I would do is just change the button here. Obviously, I would use even these same colors and everything uh, just because they're, when you use, you change the colors like this, it just draws the eye. And especially when you're new and you don't really know that stuff, it's just really great to be able to, like you don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? You can just create that yourself. So, um, so here is what, here's what we were trying to recreate. And then here's what I just quickly recreated. Like I said, I would, you know, work on this and I would make it look a little bit better than it does right now. But you guys get the point. Um, let's see, I'll go ahead and save this. And I also just want to show you on the mobile version, 
if you look at it, this is, this is why it's so cheetah is so cool. Cause when you do this stuff and you put it on the mobile version, it just, there's hardly any editing. Like all I need to do is move that down, move this text down. Well, no, actually I would leave that there. And so that's what it would look like on the mobile version. Okay. So now we have created that. Okay. Um, but now that we have this funnel, okay, now that you have this intermittent fasting guide and ebook that you want people to, um, to get, it's like, how do you promote it now? Okay. So if you have a page or you have a group that you're in, or, I mean, you really need to create a group because a lot of times they won't let you promote products unless you're in one of those, like, um, online business or health and wellness, you know, MLMs or whatever. Um, it would be hard to promote if you don't have a page, but with this funnel, with this, if you were true vision health or you are, um, any of the other like weight loss MLMs, you could easily take this funnel and run this ad here and you're saying, are you tired of dieting and still not losing weight? Discover the ultimate weight loss solution with intermittent fasting. Now that's great copywriting, but did I write that? No, I just simply took it from the funnel. And I went over here to canva.com, which I love Canva. Uh, it's super simple. There's all kinds of templates you can use and everything, but that's what I used to create this. All I did was bring in that banner that we used, the background image like that. And then I just used the same text that was in there. Okay. And then I just, I brought in that image of the ebook and then I just did a little like free download just to draw a little attention. Now, the cool part about this is if you are in an MLM and promoting weight loss supplements, well, we all know when you're doing something like an MLM, you need to pre-qualify people. So if you are promoting the opportunity to recruit people to promote a weight loss supplement, you would want to use an ad like this in the, to advertise the funnel. Okay. You would want to choose looking for a lead magnet for your weight loss problem. <laughs> weight loss problem. Um, your weight loss products, stop cold messaging and give your prospects some value before introducing your product plus a free website. Now, if I was going to, this is the one that I would choose because I don't promote a weight loss supplement anymore. But if I wanted to, um, promote, if I wanted to run an ad with this ad right here to that weight loss that um, funnel right here, then I would be creating a um, Builderall account to promote Builderall to these people who want the free funnel. Okay. Does that, does that make sense? So um, you can use it in one or two ways. Okay. I can, I can run this ad to target people who are promoting a weight loss supplement with an MLM, because think about this. If they are promoting a supplement there or some kind of weight loss MLM, they're going to need to capture leads. They're going to need a website. What we are able to do is offer them this free website. Like they can take this just like you did um, with a premium account. They can have this free website for themselves. Okay. So um, if you are in that MLM weight loss um, niche, then you are now able to promote your weight loss supplement, but you can also use this funnel to promote um, Builderall to your team, okay? So now you have two streams of income. You have your health and wellness MLM, you also have Builderall. So you're giving your team a website to be able to promote the weight loss supplement. So that is how it works. You don't want to uh, just be spamming and tell everybody like, Hey, I'm Bridget with True Vision Health. Like that's not going to work because people are just going to go Google that stuff. Also people are getting really um, tired of the cold messaging and it, it is kind of rude to cold message someone and say, Hey, do you, um, are you interested in losing weight? <laughs> Maybe they're not, you know? Um, but you can actually get these two images here. They're going to be in, let's see. 
they're going to be in your members area. Members. Okay, so uh, they're going to be in your members area in the premium membership area. So once you, if you upgrade to a premium plan, you get access to your premium members area, and then you will have access to those images as well as the ebook and all of that. So um, let me see here. Get out of here. Okay, guys, so that is all I have for you today. I hope to see you next week. Um, I don't know what's going on with this coronavirus thing, but all's well. I will be here next week to show you something else that you're just dying to know. Have a great day. Bye.